What's going on, everyone? So yesterday we had the first round of the knockout round uh, for the NBA. You had the first game, which was the Pacers and the Celtics, in which the Boston Celtics actually lost to the high-powered, high-offense Indiana Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton was ridiculous. Ridiculous in that game, uh, but in the Western side, because that affects the Lakers more at the moment, at least. A good thing is that the Lakers um, end up do advancing and end up making it to the finals for this. Uh, they don't have to play Boston, right? Now, uh, maybe the Pacers can knock off uh, Milwaukee too. That'd be pretty nice. But uh, regardless, we will see how that plays out. Um, also, the Knicks they have an opportunity to knock out Boston as well, so that could be very interesting. But in the Western side of things, you had the Pelicans and the Kings, who, I'm not going to lie, I was a little worried about the Kings, just because they've seemed to have the Lakers number uh, thus far this season. However, hasn't been in an in-season tournament game in which the Lakers have shown that elevated level of play. Um, but we don't have to worry about that because the New Orleans Pelicans knocked off the Sacramento Kings yesterday and advanced, waiting for the winner of today's game against the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. As I mentioned earlier, you got the Bucks and the Knicks. Uh, that's the first game slated. And then our Los Angeles Lakers against the Phoenix Suns. Um, again, you, Lakers win, they advance, and then you go to Vegas and you're the home team, right? Like the Lakers essentially have three home games in this tournament. That's that's amazing, right? Because it's in Las Vegas, which you could throw a rock and hit Las Vegas from LA. And now you get to go and have all that stadium packed with a bunch of Laker fans, a bunch of people rooting for the Lakers. I mean, that crowd's going to be just next level for LA compared to a lot of these other teams, right? And so if the Lakers can get through Phoenix, and look, I said this even before the Sacramento game and all that stuff, the Sacramento and Pelicans game, that I thought whoever won this game between the Lakers and the Suns, they would be the team to represent the West. Still believe that. I believe that even more now than I did prior because I did think Sacramento ha had a better chance of beating just the, the Lakers and the Suns just because of their style of play. They can get really hot, shoot the lights out, and could make things very difficult in a one-game matchup. Where I do think, like, if this was the NBA, like, playoffs, and it was a best of seven, then I don't, I don't think Sacramento beats either the Lakers or the Suns in a seven-game series, right, if this was the actual playoffs. But in a one-and-done environment, anything can happen, right? And that's the whole gimmick that the, the NBA is trying to go for, right? Bring, bring that NCAA March Madness type uh, level basketball and intensity to the NBA, and look, I have to give it to them. Those games were great. I mean, the players are taking it very serious, which is what you wanted. Like, I had my concerns. I had my reservations. I didn't think that the, the players would take it as serious. Um, you know, obviously, it's not the NBA Finals. So you've seen guys stay rested. You've seen guys, you know, take days off and stuff like that, that, that maybe wouldn't have otherwise if it was the actual playoffs. But for the most part, the games have been very competitive. And you've seen the elevation from many teams, including the Lakers. So now it's go time, right? That's it. You got the Lakers are three wins away from being the first ever team to win the cup. And that would just be such a great feeling for us Laker fans, obviously. Um, but also, I think, would be a great feeling for that team. Right? The team is very young. It's been... It hasn't been all sunshines and rainbows thus far this season. There's been a lot of questions, a lot of just hiccups, um, you know, a lot of like, what are we as a team? Um, you know, like guys haven't been healthy and, and we kind of like, yeah, we're three games over 500, but at times it feels like we're just kind of treading water right now rather than like actually pulling ahead. And I just think like if the Lakers can go and win this tournament, I just, I feel I really genuinely believe that it would create such great strides for the Lakers. Like, I really do. I think it would just, I think it would be so impactful for this Lakers team. Um, but they have a, they have a tall task, right? Um, Phoenix, they're, they've been a lot better since the last time we played them. Um, right now we're 12 and nine on the season. They're 12 and eight on the season. Although if, you know, the season ended, we would have tiebreaker. We won the last two games. However, I do have my concerns because 
It is hard to beat any team in the league. Any team. Detroit, Spurs, anybody. Three times in a row. It's even harder to beat somebody three times in a row in a like month span, right? And then you add on to the fact that it's even harder when it's the Phoenix Suns who are, you know, an NBA championship level team. And look, this Suns Lakers matchup, it very well could be the like a, a precursor to the actual Western Conference Finals. Now, there's also the randomness of a, a one and done style game, right? Like the Phoenix Suns could just shoot the lights out. I mean, we could play excellent, right? We could play the best basketball we've played all year and still lose the game. And that's it. It's done, right? It's not like the NBA playoffs where it's like, you know, if we have a bad game or like Phoenix just shoots the lights out or whatever, it's like, okay, well, we can we can bounce back, right? They got to they gotta beat us three more times. And, you know, you'll even see games where it's like, okay, this team is clearly the better team. Yes, they lost this game, but they're clearly the better team. It just, whatever, like, you know, the team made 33s or something crazy like that, right? Those kind of things just happen, and you can kind of tell, like, okay, this team is clearly going to win the series. Well, when it's only one game, guess what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Right? There's that level of randomness. So I do have a level of concern. Look, I fully believe in the Lakers. I, I'm i super stoked that the Lakers are healthy now. I mean, obviously, they're still missing Gabe Vincent, but everyone else should be ready to go. Everyone else should be lining up for the purple and gold, and we should be able to go and get this win. Um, you know, I, like I said, full faith in the Lakers. I trust them to go get this done. But... Again, when it's one and done, there is that level of randomness. Yes, the Lakers beat the Phoenix Suns twice. Guess what? They got to beat them a third time now. They have to, right? Like, it, like as great as it was to see the Lakers beat the Suns twice, the Suns could eliminate the Lakers. And that would just, that would suck, right? Because it's like, man, like, we've already beaten them twice. It's like, come on, man. Like, we... And now they get hot or what? It's just there's so many factors that could go into play. But we have seen the Lakers really take this serious. We've seen the Lakers lock down, play hard, and, and really get after it. And I fully expect the Phoenix Suns to do the same, right? I fully expect Kevin Durant, Devin Booker to, to fully buckle down and be ready to go, right? Like, I'm sure both sides absolutely want to win this. I mean, even just to establish some level of, you know, just dominance, I guess, you know, of like bragging rights, like, hey, you know, we got you type thing, especially from Phoenix, who has lost to the Lakers twice. Like, even if they don't win the in-season tournament, I'm sure Phoenix would love to beat the Lakers and be the team to knock out the Lakers. So that way, you know, it's like, yeah, you beat us twice, but guess what? When it mattered the most, we we got you, right? Even though I still would, again, randomness is a real thing, right? To me, it'd depend on how they lost. But still, I mean, there is that level of like, okay, we can beat the Lakers. Where if you look at it from the other side, it's like, if the Lakers win this again, it's like, hey, man, we've beaten you three times now. We've beaten you twice in the in-season tournament when it mattered both times. And then we even eliminated you from, like, so, again, that that mental warfare in a lot of ways is very important, not only for, obviously, the, the remainder of the season, but also if the Lakers and Suns end up having that matchup come playoff time, right? You, you start having that thought, like, man, like, you know, we got, the, the season series got swept, you know, by, by the Lakers, and, you know, we lost. You, you, you have game one, you lose game one, all of a sudden it's like, can we even beat this team, right? And you start adding that doubt. You start, you know, implanting that seed uh, of that tree that's just going to grow. And you, you plant that seed of doubt. And, you know, it, it's just, I want to see the Lakers get this done. Because I do think that if they do this and they win, and they basically now go 3-0 against the Suns, 
well, then I think that that's just something that they can kind of point to and just go, oh, hey, here you go. And look, I mean, obviously the se- regular season playoffs are two different, very different things. I mean, even LeBron is a great example of that. I mean, LeBron had seasons where like Toronto and Atlanta, um, like they would sweep LeBron with Cleveland. And then they'd meet in the playoffs, and LeBron and Cleveland would just sweep Atlanta or sweep the the Raptors or whatever. So again, not everything translates, but you know when you when you have teams that can be very equal, and you have a guy like LeBron James, that just gives him fuel and points to to kind of use and and exploit and attack and kind of talk his talk and stuff. So I don't know. It's just it's gonna be interesting. But I, I'm super pumped for this game. I'm super excited for this game. Got to go get this W. Got to go get this W. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Um, do you agree? Do you think, like, yes, this this is an absolute must-win? I mean, obviously, it is a must-win because if you it's, it's one and done. If you lose, that's it. It's over. But, you know, do you, do you feel like it, it doesn't really matter? The goal is the NBA championship. Or do you think, like, no, like, you need this to kind of build that momentum, build that uh, that confidence. But... Again, I have a feel what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it, so let me know down in the comments below.